guys, today I'm going to talk about these cards. I will openly say that I have benefited a lot from these crazy dumb spikes. Now, why are these spikes nonsensical? They're not logical. Because these cards, in my opinion, are not very good. Baron has never been good. He has been the definition of bulk. But guess what? He is a legendary wizard on the reserve list. That didn't matter until a few days ago where the card was less than a dollar and now it's approaching $10. Yes, we do get a new Commander 2017 wizard theme deck and the more wizards you own, I guess the better the deck gets. And he is old. Urza Saga is very, very old as a set. What long time ago? I remember I was in elementary school when Urza Saga came out. And you had the choice between Urza Saga or first, first Edition Pokemon. It turned out First Edition Pokemon was the better choice to buy. I remember my GameStop had, bo had both. And I was deciding, hmm, should I buy some Magic cards or should I buy some, this new collectible game Pokemon? Anyway, let's talk about just random legendary cards. Random cards from Legends that were bulk and is now spiking like crazy. So this one is very obvious. There was another card that spiked because of planes. This one's every you gain one life point for each time one of your opponent's mountains become tapped. Semi-useful, kind of a gross picture in my opinion. Is it $100? No. It literally went from pennies to $100 because it is a legend rare on the reserve list. So all of these cards, I'll just... Not, I'm not going to hide it from you. They are all on the reserve list. They're all very bad cards in my opinion. But hey, they're never going to be reprinted. And if that's the kind of gimmick that you want uh, to invest in, then that's and it's kind of a safe investment. So let me complain a little bit more about the reserve list. This is a lot of money being made in the secondary market. The last time something like this happened... Which is punished, absolutely punished vendors by reprinting everything into oblivion. And that format was called modern. I think Wizards trying to ignore this is happening. Uh, here's another one. Acid Rain, which is three times the price of the Invocation Boil. And many people would say Boil is the better one because you want to hit the islands and then the forests are kind of nice too. But this is a reserve list rare legend card. So if you have all of those things together, you will probably have a card that will spike over $100 soon. Now, is Acid Rain very good? I don't think so. I mean, Boil is not even played right now. Uh, Choke is played, I feel like, but Acid Rain is just, uh, it's, not, it's not good. So why is it $60? Well, then it used to be $60 and now it is. People are buying Legends or Arabian Nights rare cards on the reserve list. If it has all three of those qualities, it's being bought out currently as we speak. The same can be said about this card. Is it great? No. Is it the best creature? No. You get so much more value for, is that a two in double blue? You can just play JC Mind Sculptor. I mean, it's the same format as this. What's happening now is it doesn't take very much to buy out the supply of these cards. It takes very little. Anyone with a thousand dollars can buy out any Legends Rare under ten dollars, and they can control the market for that. Now, is it an actual demand? I'll share my Norway story. It turns out, for laughing out loud, there is a demand. Because for memes and things of that nature, people wanted the Narwhals. And I actually had a lot of people want them. Uh, they didn't want a playset though. They wanted a singleton and then maybe a lot of times they wanted a signed. I, I think a lot of people just found it kind of funny. That Narwhal, which was the card, right? It's such a bad card of Homelands. But it's a cute animal. I'm probably going to... I will say this. I'm intrigued. I am in Transmute, which is an uncommon for... Is also on the reserve list, I believe, as an uncommon... Someone check if that's correct. I think this is on a reserve list, but it recently has spiked again to $83. Literally everything from these sets are now like $80 to $100. It's 
gross. Oh, okay, back to uh, the cute animals. I am looking for a cute animal on a reserve list to buy out. And I will probably throw $500 at it and see what happens. Uh, so let me know what cute animals that we have on a reserve. I haven't looked. Uh, the worst is set. So if the cute animals come from fallen empires or homelands. I know there's a ferrets. I recently got adopted two ferrets, uh, Liliana and Nahari. They are sisters, which is the way they should be. And they are very cute animals, but very smelly. And uh, <laughs> very smelly. I bring them to work, though. And I bring Norman and my dog to work. And everyone brings their dog. At any given day, our work environment is more dogs and more ferrets and more cats than people. At any given day. Um, so it's a fun work environment. If you're interested in learning about what I do, you can follow my other channels and maybe apply. I mean, I am looking to hire people. We are in a hiring bins because we signed some larger clients and I want to do this experiment relatively soon. I'm going to have my secretary, Maddie. I'm going to have her go ahead and I, I realize, hey, you know, why don't I just have my secretaries buy them out? I, I hate buying cards out because it's a lot of work. That's what like people don't understand. People assume that, oh, you're just going to buy 100 copies from one vendor. That's not how it works. You buy two and then four and then six. And then one vendor with 100 copies, their price is like too expensive, right? Like they've already kind of established. Let's say if you buy something for Star City Games, you're not getting a good price. They have put a premium. Yes, we have 100 copies of this file. Yeah. But instead of, of the $2.50 market price, which you can get on TCG Player all day, all day long, for convenience, we want you to pay $4. But $4 times 100 copies, you're losing 150 a copy as opposed to the market price. All right, we just went over the dude's cards. Anyway, these cards are not good, but they have been spiking. If you own any of these cards, hold, hold on to them for dear life because who knows when this ride will end and who knows if there's actual demand. That's what I wanna know. Are people actually gonna pay 55 bucks for this card? It is not playable. It's not playable in ED8. It's not even like funny. Like Norwales is kind of funny and I could see like, oh, ha ha ha, it's a Norwell. I could see where the picture is interesting and you're like, oh, cool picture. Uh, yeah, we'll use it as a token or something. And then a token can be like two to four. I pay a lot of money for my tokens. I don't know if you guys know this, but I use ultra rare 40 tokens from a game that I don't know how to play called Weiss. And I just collect the, well, it's not ultra rare, SPs. SPs are like fake signatures. I don't know why they're worth so much, to be honest, because it's just like digital printing and not like a real autograph. It's like a fake autograph, but I am in the market for those. So let me know if you have any Weiss X, uh, SPs, which are signed. Yeah, those are pretty good. I do like them a lot. All right, so the next two cards, and especially the last card, is going to define how dumb and ridiculous all this stuff is. These cards are just not, is this card worth $2? No, but guess what? It's a legend on the reserve. It's a rare from legend on the reserve list. It's $2 now. I could see this hitting $10 for no reason than other than someone's going to buy it out. But if you're going to buy something out, make sure that like, okay, if I'm going to buy something out, I have to at least like it. And that's my opinion about everything. Later this week, I'll have a video of Philea showing you how much I, uh, showing you the time I bought her for two bucks. And then from two to five, I just continued to buy her because I liked her. I just thought she was the most amazing artwork and she was a great card. And if nothing else, I would just put her in my office. I would put a few hundred copies as wallpaper in the office and that would be great. And actually getting them altered. So my plan was to get a few hundred copies, send them to dozens of artists and get them all altered. Unfortunately, not every artist gave back their copy. <laughs> which is unfortunate because now the spike, now it's not a $2 card I'm sending out. It's a $12, $13 card I'm sending out. But I am supposedly getting more copies back. I have free art artists who are working on this right now. All right, let's close off with this. Pixie Queen is a beautiful card. Don't get me wrong. This would be something I would invest in if it was anywhere better. It's not even Narwhal good. All right, let's read what it does. It's a 1-1. One, one flying it's not legendary two and it costs four for a one one flyer 
who if you pay, pay triple green, you give target creature flying until end of turn. Think about what this card is. And it is spiking. This card in a very few days, if not in the next month, will probably be a $50 card. Beautiful artwork. I can see why someone would buy it, but I do not see why it has to be $50. Today is not $50. It's $5 today. It's actually not a bad one to think about buying out. Huh. It is a, it is a nice piece of artwork. All right. I, to be continued. Bye, guys.